Have you ever checked your Instagram feed, maybe looking for the hashtag astrophotography? And you found these amazing and stunning looking star trail images, like a vortex sucking in all the stars to the center. Well, if you don't own the expensive equipment to zoom in your lens over time, let me show you how to turn this into this. Without LR time lapse or slow zooming equipment in post processing, welcome to Astro Addict. The first thing you need is a clear night, a tripod and your camera. A star trail picture is basically a time lapse of the night sky, all in one image. I recommend using a DSLR with shutter cable and a wide field lens with manual aperture. The exposure time and ISO setting can vary, depending on your local light pollution and your camera model. In this example image I took 400 static images, 25 seconds exposure, ISO 1600 and an aperture of f5, in RAW of course. The more images you collect, the better your final result. If you own an intermediate wide field lens, focusing on the stars will not be a problem. My Samyang lens has a perfect star focus with one single turn to infinity. After hours and hours of waiting, you will end up with a folder full with rather similar images. Hopefully not trail stars, you could also use those for a time lapse. And a foreground that will either become irrelevant or problematic. My workflow includes Adobe Lightroom, Star Stacks, Premiere and Photoshop. Adobe products are rather expensive, but they can easily be replaced by any batch processing software. I've heard that GIMP can be upgraded with some plugins to do batch processing. And Adobe Premiere can be substituted for any other video editing software, if the software can export in single frames. In Lightroom I perform a basic exposure and color correction, HSL balance and lens correction. Happy with the result, I save the images as JPEG files in a separate folder. To achieve this effect with your equipment, you would need a zoom lens with a zoom ring attached to a sky tracker to slowly zoom in or out over these 4-5 to five hours. Tricky stuff. To achieve this effect in post, you would need to scale your frames over time. Every single frame. You could either load all the images into Photoshop and erase those annoying airplanes in the meantime and scale your images in a ramp. Or you could set a single keyframe in Adobe Premiere. Load your images into your video editing software as an image sequence. Now you can set a scale keyframe to slowly zoom in or out over time. Zooming out will create the vortex. Zooming in will create the opposite. You can experiment with these values and find what you like. After that, you can export the video as a JPEG sequence. And you have a folder with slowly scaled night sky images. Starstacks is a free software that turns all of your frames into a single trailing image. Load your images into the client, you can also subtract dark frames, and choose your preferred blending mode. I always go for gap filling. Click go and the magic will be done. You can load the final image into your image editing software and do some final adjustments. Or maybe do some foreground blending because the foreground in the stacked image will look awful. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial, just one little hint at the end. Polaris. To get the best results you need to center Polaris in the frame. If the north star is not centered in the frame, you will have some edgy star trails around it and it will look awful. The Astrophoto Challenge video will be released on the day I'm recording this. I hope you enjoyed and the big project still has to wait for a couple of weeks. I still need to get 100 RGB frames and the moon is coming out again, so we have to wait a little bit longer for this one. My name is Tim, I'm an Astro Addict, I wish you clear skies and may the night be with us. Das macht Mut, jawoll!